Hi, welcome to Salty Beaver Explorers and our How to Be Canadian A series. Well, today we are going to be asking you a question. What do farm machinery, a hard crunch and cheddar cheese have in common? Well, it is the creation of Canada's favorite snack. Cheesies, Hawkins cheesies. This is the place to learn about food, stereotypes, culture, and all things Canadian. So let's go, eh? For many Canadians, Hawkins cheesies are the must-have snack. They're not like any other cheese flavored snack out on the market. This is no soft, mushy, puffy, fake cheese flavored snack at all. They have a hard bite. They are made with real cheddar cheese and each one is an individual. They're like snowflakes, not one of them is the same. Ironically, this beloved Canadian snack was actually invented by two Americans. James E. Marker was a farmer and he was looking to invent a way to preserve corn year round for his cattle. He ended up inventing this machine that extruded cornmeal into little fingerlings. And when those were deep fried and then coated with cheese, they became a very satisfying snack. W.T. Hawkins was the founding owner of the company and in 1949 they moved the plant to Tweed, Ontario where they perfected the recipe. In 1956 a fire broke out and decimated their factory and then they moved it over to Belleville, Ontario. Unfortunately, the factory has not been a stranger to fire. In addition to the 1956 fire, they had a warehouse burned to the ground in September of 2016. And then in July of 2019, there was also a minor fire in a cooking facility. The peak cheesy season is in summer. And from April to October, they run 24 hour shifts. Though many Canadians are devoted to the cheesy as being a wonderful snack, Newfoundlanders have a particular fondness for it. Let's start with the ultimate snack. Hawkins cheesies, Anthony. Look, real cheddar cheese. It must be real. It says so right there. And look, there's a maple leaf on there. So no it's preservatives? Gotta be true. Gotta be true. What do you want? So tell me, how does a snack originating from Belleville, how does that become the number one crunchy snack in Newfoundland? That's what I want to know. I think they make it in Belleville because if they made it here, they'd be eating all the time <laughs> on the line. They would none of them would ever get into the bag. Would you believe that Hawkins Cheesies doesn't advertise and they don't have any social media presence? In fact, they don't even have their name on their warehouse or factory. It's just a nondescript white building. They're so low key, they don't even do factory tours. The reason they don't advertise, they don't want to have to increase their production. What's your name? Lennox. You're Lennox? What are you waiting for? Um, the cheesy. Do you want to eat some cheesies? Yeah. Oh. Here I go. Okay. Was that a big crunchy one? The W.T. Hawkins Company is a family owned business and James Marker actually acted as vice president up until his death in 2012. The current president is Kent Hawkins, the grandson of founder W.T. Hawkins. So if you're ever in Canada and want something yummy to snack on, look for that orange bag with the red and white stripes. They are very crunchy. I'm so good. Cheesy, crispy, cornmeal-y, yummy. Can't beat them. Hawkins Cheesies, the best.